Hello beauties, welcome back to the vlog. This week we are talking about giving ourselves permission not to be perfect. And this is something that sometimes I struggle with. I don't know if you experience that. Today I wanna to share a story with you about how I deal with this. And sometimes I'm better at this than others. Um, you know, I have two little kids. Todd and I each have companies that we're trying to grow. And of course, really we have that together. We have a house to manage, we have a German Shepherd, we've got boards that we're on and community things and, and all of that. You're still supposed to go grocery shopping and make dinner and get the bills paid, right? And it can be a lot, man, it can be a lot. And some weeks it just weighs on me and it feels heavy. And I can beat myself up and really live in this space where I can't believe that I haven't gotten everything done as if any human could. Right, like somehow I'm above uh, physics and time and these other things and I'm gonna be able to do it all. And it's just, it's not real, you know? Um, a few months ago I talked about how I'd given the kids bagels for dinner and yogurt and I was feeling guilty that I didn't make them a real dinner and I got a lot of wonderful notes from people saying, you know, sometimes people would just let their kids choose what was in the cupboard and everything else. But I do feel a great deal of pressure to to be all things to all people and not just in a recovering people pleaser kind of way, but also in a way that says, you know, um, I'm supposed to be the best CEO I can be and I'm also supposed to be the best spouse I can be and I'm also supposed to be the best mother and I'm supposed to be the best at all the things, right? I'm supposed to do all the crafts and go to all the things at my kid's school and remember all the donations on the right day and when the snack is due and and to do all of that, right? And to take them to the playground and to give them all the experiences and do sports and do music and do all that. And that's just the kid's part of my life. And then you gotta feed them like six or eight times a day. They're like robots. They always wanna eat like every two hours no matter what. And you know, and then look at your household and you still wanna keep a, a clean house and um, some people have given up on that and I applaud you. I wish I had that in me, you know? Um, eight loads of laundry and five loads of dishes and just the monotony of the whole thing, you know? Um, taking the garbage out and the recycling and did I remember to clean the crap in the recycling and oh my God, and, you know, and you go through all of that and you still gotta check your mail. You still gotta pay all your bills, right? You gotta get it in on time. Did I schedule it? Did I pay them the right amount? Did I pay it late? Oh, well, I'm managing, you know, um, a whole set of accounts for a company, too. I have almost 50 clients. Did I bill them the right thing? And then it bleeds over, and now the lines start to get blurry. Did I take care of everyone at work? Is everyone happy? Do they have what they need? Am I paying them enough? Are they growing? Are they getting the education that's good? Are we taking care of our clients? It snowballs. It starts to become um, something that you think about all the time. It starts to be something that can be consuming. And then, and then there are boards, and then there's sports, and, and, and. And at some point, you know, a lot of people say, well, you don't have to do all that stuff, Celeste. Just focus on your company, or just focus on your family. You know, why are you trying to do all of it? You don't have to do all of it. You know, let yourself off the hook. Just do one thing. But the truth is that even when I'm committed to fewer things, I still fill my time like that. So there's something in my personality that just pushes me forward to do. I am, I was born to do. I am someone that shows up on a board and says, what are we changing? What's next? How are we growing? Where are we going? And being a, an agent of change, so to speak. But at some point, it can really wear you out because you forget to look at yourself and say, okay, have I taken time for me? Well, no, God, that's another thing I have to do. How many things do you want me to do? I'm not gonna do all of them. And so it's this conversation that we have. So I guess it's less of a story today and more of a very long list of all the things I'm not fully succeeding at. But more than that, I want you to know that we all have that. Whether it's you and your family or it's organizations, it's school, it's work, we all have a list of things that are never gonna be done and it's okay. I'll see you tomorrow.